स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस कंपैक्ट स्पेस कंपैक्ट स्पेस काउंटेबली कंपैक्ट स्पेस काउंटेबली कंपैक्ट स्पेस sequentially compact space sequentially compact space all these spaces compact space countably compact space sequentially compact space for just for genus lister's property now what do you mean by compact space a topological space is said to be compact space if every open cover has a finite sub cover A topological space is said to be countably compact if every countable open cover has a finite sub cover. A topological space is said to be sequentially compact if every sequence has a convergent sub sequence. Now, what do we mean by Boltzmann Morris's property? Boltzmann Morris's property. property that is the property is said to have boltzmann's lister's property every infinite subset of x has a limit point now we will solve compactness for just boltzmann's lister's property countably compact for just boltzmann's lister's property sequentially compact for just boltzmann's lister's property we will deal one by one as for every compact space has boltzmann's lister's property proof we will prove this form by contradiction let x t be a compact topological space compact Topological space. Suppose Boltzmann's Lister's property does not hold. Suppose Boltzmann's Lister's property does not hold. Its mean L in finite subset A C A of X has no limit point. Both Boltzmann's property does not hold. Therefore, every infinite subset A of X has no limit point. This means, by definition. Let x belong to x. There exists an open set G x containing only at most containing at most containing at most one element. Then, such that, such that, a intersection G X minus an X is empty. Such that a intersection G X minus X is empty. This implies a intersection G X is X. This implies C G X X long X is open cover of X is an open cover of X. That is X can be written as union X long X G X. Now A is an infinite subset of X. This The hair x is equal to union x belong to x g x, but 
x is compact so it has a finite sub cover since x is compact so it has a finite sub cover it has a finite sub cover that is x can be written as union i1 to n gxi further further a is contained in x and this is equal to union i1 to n gxi here gxi consists at most n elements but a is in finite set therefore it is a contradiction because a is infinite and this union consists at most n element so our supposition is wrong that every finite subset of x has no limit point hence our assumption is wrong hence every compact set every finite subset of x has a limit point hence compact space has bolzanus vistas property okay because you see here it is it has n elements it is infinite subset it cannot be true so assumption whatever we have we have assumed that every infinite subset of a of x has no limit point our assumption is wrong so every infinite subset a of x is a limit point hence every compact space possesses bolzanus vistas property now we come to next theorem every countably compact space has bolzanus vistas property a topological space is said to be countably compact if every countable open cover has a finite sub cover a topological space has bolzanus vistas property if every infinite subset a say a of x has a limit point let x t be a countably compact countably compact Topological space. Suppose Bolzano's Vistas property does not hold. Does not hold. Its main the infinite subset A, say A of X has no limit point. This main the infinite subset infinite subset C A of X has no limit point but A is infinite subset of X but infinite subset A must contain a countable set C B let B B A countable subset B B countable subset of A. Now we denote B B countable subset of A X N N belong to N. Now B is a subset of A. A possess no limit point. This implies B also not possess no limit point because we know if A is containing B, drive set of A is contained in drive set of B. If this is non limit point, so this has no limit point. Now B is contained A. A has no limit point. Limit point. This means this means B has also no limit point. 
is mean the set B has also no limit point. Moreover, moreover, we know B bar is equal to closure of B is B union dry set of B that we have no limit point here dry set of B is empty which implies B bar is equal to B since dry set of B is empty this implies B is also closed B is closed now the set B has no limit point so Since B has no limit point, so for each x n, for each x n belong to B, there exists an open set G n containing. At most containing you can see single point containing a single point point such that B N intersection G N minus X N is empty. B, not this B, B. Since B has no limit point, so for each X and belong to B, there exists an open set G and containing a single point, you can say at most one point, so we say here a single point, because if it consists no point, then it will be empty and you will form no form cover. So we take here that G and contain a single point. Now this implies B intersection G N is X N. This implies C this is G N N belong to N B a cover of B. Now if it is cover of B so B is contained in union N belong to N G N. Also we know that B is closed. Also B is closed. So X can be written as B union B complement. Now B is contained this, B is containing union and belong to n g n union b complement this implies x can be written as because x is contained this and this is also contained this so you can write x is union and belong to n g n union b complement this implies this implies the set G N and belong to N and B is an open cover, open cover of X. Now from this open cover, we, if you remove a single G N, then this will not cover X because G N consists of the element X N. If you remove a single G and that is an element xn then x cannot be equal to this so it has not a countable subcover gn and bloat is a open power of x if we remove a single gn from the cover gn and belong to N and B complement. A B complement. B complement. Angle 
LGN from the cover, then X cannot be written as union N belongs N, G N union B complement. But we have given that X is countably compact. So here we find that it has no countable subcover. So our assumption is that infinite subset A of X has it no limit point. It is a contradiction to our assumption. It is so it is contradiction because we have given it's countably compact. And here we do not obtain a countably open subcover of X. Therefore, our assumptions that infinite subset A of X is no limit point is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. Hence, every countable compact space possesses Bolzano's vistas property. Next. Every sequentially compact space, every sequentially Compact space possesses Bolzano's Vistas property. Let proof let HTV a sequentially compact space, sequentially compact space. Sequentially compact space means every sequence has a convergent subsequence. So let X to be sequentially compact, let and we have to show every sequentially compact space possess Bolzano Switzer's property. We have to show it possess a Bolzano Switzer's property. Let A be infinite subset of X. Let, let us form a sequence, let us form a sequence of distinct point of, let us, let the infinite subset of X, let us form a sequence of distinct points of A. Now, every sequentially compact we have given a sequentially compact space uh, if a space is sequentially compact every sequence has a convergent subsequence so let so x t is a sequentially compact yeah, since x t is a sequentially compact since x t is sequentially compact sequentially compact so it has a convergent, it has a convergent subsequence that converges, that converges, that is limit and time to infinity x and k, k is x. Now, now the point x belongs to A. Now the sequence converges because we have the sequence of distinct point of A. So this x belongs to A. So and sequence converges. So all the term since now the point x belongs to A. Therefore, all the term of sequence x and lies in the neighborhood of in the neighborhood of a and sequence is of distinct point sequence is distinct point point so so a has a, a has infinitely many points in its neighborhood infinitely many points in its Neighborhood. So X is the limit point of A. Limit point of A. And A is infinite subset of X. And infinite subset of X possesses a limit point. Hence, Bolzano's Vestas property holds. Thank you.